Mrs. Pilp Pell is a, an attorney with Greenbaum Wolf and Ernst, a graduate of Vassar and of the Columbia Law School, and very active in a number of liberal and feminist uh, movements. Mrs. Pilp Pell. Uh, I would like to, for a moment, ask you some questions about the economics of job getting in terms of the blacks versus the whites. The statistics I was able to pull together indicate that at the present time, white males make $17,427 on an average basis for the year. Black males make 12738 White females make 10244 and black females make 9476 It is clear from these figures, as indeed I think it's clear to most of us from what we see, that there is a discrimination against blacks and against women in our present system. Since not all blacks will be superior, how would you try to even that out so that there would be some equality of job opportunities? Yeah, I'm sorry you missed the earlier part of the program when I pointed out that uh, where you find uh, people not represented evenly that does not show the institutional effect because almost nowhere in human affairs do you find people evenly represented. Well, if, you, if you compare comparable people with respect to age, with respect to education, etc., you get a totally different picture, both with respect to blacks and women. Now, the figures that I saw, for example, show uh, more recently that if you take black families where the husband and wife are both college educated and compare them to white family where the husband and wife are both college educated, the black family is now earning $2,000 a year more. The problem is not. The problem is that very few blacks fall in that category. That when you compare category for category, then we're talking about getting people a decent education. I'm saying that you cannot say that numbers collected at the employer's place of business reflect simply the employer's policies. Those no, those numbers reflect underlying conditions in the whole society. Just as numbers collected at a hospital do not show you that the people are sick because they're in the hospital. No, I, I would agree with that, but you would also have to agree that, generally speaking, women are paid less, for example, for the same jobs as men. No, I would not. I would not agree with that. If you're talking about women with the same number of years of experience, with the same continuous service, et cetera, et cetera, then when I look at that, I don't find that disparity. I find, for example, in many cases, the women are making more, depending upon how you break the data down. The difference with women is between, unmar is between married women and everybody else. That's the real difference. Well, even as to single women, the Census Bureau statistics, the most recent ones I could find, 1978, say that single men are earning $11,100 and single women are earning $9,300. Yes, I, I love the word single that is used. When I did my study, I didn't use single, I used never married. You see, a woman who is single at age 40, having spent 10 or 20 years raising children, is really not quite the same as a man of age 40 who has been working continuously for 20 years. And the differential she cited is not that great, so it could easily be accounted for by, by, by the point Yes, because raised. when I break them down the other way, I, I did this for the academic world, and there I found the uh, women who are never married, which is the term the way I, I take it, uh, there they were earning more than the men. And similarly, when the government did data some years ago on women who had been working continuously since high school into, the thir into their, their 30s, uh, there you found that they were making slightly more than men of the same description. So the difference is between married women and everybody else. And married men get an extra bonus because their wives take care of many things that enable them to put more time into their careers. I'm sure you're aware of the fact that there are approximately 15 percent of all homes in which there is only one wage earner. So that when you talk about women being able to take care of things for their married mate wage earner, the fact is that in the overwhelming majority of American homes, the women also work. And therefore, I don't think your explanation that women have other responsibilities and that that's why work, they are... Work can mean part-time work or full-time work. Women do not work full-time to the same extent that men. Part-time workers make less than full-time workers.